a system consists of two-point charges fixed in place. Where should a third charge Q3 be placed so that the net electric force on Q3 is zero? Wherever Q3 is placed, there would be two electric forces acting on it, one from the negative 1.8 microcoulombs and the other from the negative 1.2 microcoulombs. So in order for the net force to be zero, these two forces must be equal and opposite so they can cancel. This means Q3 has to be placed somewhere along this line. Anywhere off this line will give us forces at an angle so they cannot cancel. By the way, the problem does not say whether Q3 is positive or negative, so it probably means that the sign of the charge for Q3 does not matter. We will probably find the same location whether Q3 is positive or negative. So 1, 2, 3. Which of these three regions on the line do you think Q3 should be placed? Region 1 is not possible because in order for the electric force on Q3 from these two charges to be equal, Q3 must be closer to the weaker charge. And when we look at which charge is weaker, we do not consider the sign. It's just the magnitude of the charge. This one has a smaller magnitude of charge, so this is the weaker charge. The Q3 has to be closer to the weaker charge, so 1, region 1 is out. So it's either 2 or 3. Let's just say Q3 is a positive charge, and let's put it in region 2 and closer to the weaker charge. The electric force between those two will be attractive. The electric force between those two will also be attractive. So these two forces can be opposite. They have a chance to cancel. If we put this positive charge out here in region 3, then the force between those two will be attractive and the force between those two will also be attractive. Same direction, that means the two forces will never be able to cancel. So the answer is region 2. And if Q3 is negative, it will still work. Because then these two charges, they will repel each other, so the electric force on the Q3 would be going that way. And uh, these two also repel each other, so the force on Q3 would go to the right. These two forces are opposite in direction, so they have a chance to cancel. So let's say we're putting Q3 right here in region 2 and closer to the weaker charge. And let's say the distance between these two is x. And let's find x so we can find the exact location to place Q3. Q3 experiences two electric forces, the force between those two and the force between those two. In order for the net force to be zero, we already know that if it's at this location, the forces are opposite. Now we just need to make those two forces equal to each other. So let's see. The force between these two will be KQ1. I'm just going to write 1.8 micro, I didn't bother to plug in the K or micro over here because I know they're going to cancel. Times the Q2, our Q2 is Q3 over here, and then divided by their distance squared. If that's 0.1, this is x. What's the distance over here? It is 0.1 minus x. And then the electric force between those two charges will be K Q1, that will be Q3 here, times Q2, that's 0.2 micro, divided by the distance x squared. So see the k's cancel, Q3's cancel, the micros also cancel. If now we cross multiply and solve for x, we're going to encounter a quadratic equation. Not so easy to solve. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take square root first. This way I can avoid the quadratic equation because uh, I know for sure Q3 has to be placed over here. The x must be a positive number. So I can just take the square root. And then so I have square root of 1.8 divided by 0.1 minus x equals to the square root of 0.2 divided by x. We certainly can just uh, cross multiply and then solve for x. or 
we can actually simplify this a little bit because uh, the 1.8 happens to be 9 times the 0.2 and we can take square root of 9 which is 3 easily so I'm just going to divide by square root of 0.2 so I get square root of 9 here and the square root of 1 over there I can get easier numbers to work with so this will be square root of 9 which is 3 and on this side I get square root of 1 which is 1 so this gives me 3x equals to 0.1 minus x so x must equal to 0 0.025 meters so now that's the location another way to do this is uh, I can say the force is uh, KQ1 times Q3 over R1 squared has to equal to the force between those two and that will be K times Q2 times Q3 over R2 squared and then I can cancel the K's cancel the Q3's now since the charge these two charges are 9 to 1 that means that R squared has to be 9 to 1 as well because I have Q over R squared Q over R squared has to be equal and 9 divided by 9 equals to 1 divided by 1 if R squared has to be 9 to 1 that means R has to be 3 to 1 and the distance R is uh, this one here is 0 0.1 minus x so 0 0.1 minus x to x has to equal to 3 to 1 so if you cross multiply you'll get exactly the same equation and then find the same x